Hello, I'm here in the venue at Oranmore, uh, on the stage at the venue at Oranmore, with Rachel O'Riordan, who is the director of next week's play. Rachel is the new artistic director of the Perth Theatre. She's just come into that job recently and um, been doing a string of highly successful productions there. Rachel, it's lovely to have you here. Um, tell us a wee bit about next week's play. Okay. Um the play's called Cool Turkey at Manners, and it's a black comedy by a purse writer called Ben Tago. Um, this is the first piece of work to be produced in Scotland, and he um, is, I think, a very exciting and compassionate, humane writer, which is, uh, I'm often drawn to playwrights who seem to have an empathetic feel for human beings in trouble. Yeah. And uh, this play is a black comedy by an older lady who is trying to detox her grandson. And she takes quite extreme measures to try and get him back on the straight and narrow. And it's all set in her living room, and it's her struggle to, to do what she thinks best for her aunt, because she loves very much. Yeah. And you've been working closely with Ben all through the process, yes. helping him with the script. I have, because um, yeah, he's a relative, he's a new playwright, which is very exciting. We've, we've gone through three or four drafts, um, and he's now, I think, developed something which is very fresh, very fun. And very him. I think it's, it's like it, it's got an identity. I think that's what's exciting about we work with new player for the first time, as you know, that people having a voice, having their own sound, yes. their own personality on the stage. Yes. And I think Ben really does have that. You can feel him in the play. Yes, it's lovely when you read the play and it is that person's voice. Yes. It's not a wee bit like somebody or a wee bit. Totally. Yeah. It's him. It's him. Yeah. It's him. And I'm also pleased that he's from the purse. Uh -huh. you know, which is where I yeah. work, and I'm, I'm just I'm glad that we've been able to support a, a local writer at the beginning of his career. Yes, uh, he, and he's an interesting, uh, his background is interesting because his father is Ghanaian. That's right. And he came to Perth about 40 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To work as a psychiatric nurse. Yeah, well initially I think he worked in the aerodrome, I think. Ah, and right. then he became a psychiatric right. nurse and he's like a health, health worker now. And right. um, everybody in the town knows Mr. Jago. Yeah. And so he's a very popular man about yeah. town and has done, I think, a lot of good for people around there. Yeah. Him. But yeah, I mean, it, it, Ben's half Ghanaian and half Scottish. Uh -huh. Well, he is Scottish, yeah. but you know, he's half, yeah. he's, his ethnicity, I suppose, is half yeah. Ghanaian. Yeah. Um, which is, it's, it's not quite unusual in Perth. Yeah. So that yeah. was kind of interesting too to yeah. discover that there's this whole other community that I didn't know anything about because apparently Ben's dad's story is not that rare. There's no. A, there's a whole community of people who came, came to Perth to work specifically in the That's a good airport. Aye. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was particularly pleased when you chose a Perth player, right? Because I think sometimes if you encourage a writer from an area, it makes other writers from that area think it's possible. Totally right. I think so too. We don't have we don't have the whole Ayrshire, Glasgow kind of uh, plethora of playwrights coming out of that part of uh -huh. part of from as far as I am, as far as I know. And yeah, I'm hoping this is just the beginning. Yes. Yeah. And we'll do more together. I hope so. Yeah. If <laughs> you'll have us back. No question. Um, <laughs> You, you obviously, you are very busy in your job in Perth, mm -hmm. and you've just directed a play, which yeah. has been very exciting. Yeah, very good. A, a very good play by Ron Hutchinson, <laughs> um, called Moonlight Man, really. It's gone at the minute, but it probably won't be still by the time this goes out. But right. uh, he, um, it's a Scottish premiere, uh -huh. which I'm delighted about as well. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's done really well for us. It's a thought of Steve McNichol in it, yes. Benny Young, yes. Helen Logan, and Joseph Chance. They're, they're brilliant. A great cast. Um, and a great cast in Ben's play. Yep. And Kate, yeah. Ben Nan, who is, I think, probably Scottish audiences would know quite well. Yeah. She's a beautiful actress. And from the Perth area. And from Perth as well, which is yeah. kind of nice too, to have another bit of local hook yeah. in there. Yeah. And Barry Hunter, yeah. who, um, I suppose, again, Scottish audiences will know him well. Yes. And a really exciting young actor called Scott Kyle, who um, people might know from the Billy Tim show. Yes, yes. I'm no Billy. I'm no Billy Tim. Yeah. yeah. Um, the future is also very exciting for you because you've raised this enormous amount of money to refurb the theatre. Yes. And um, how's that going? Well, I can take no credit for the fundraising so far because that was all well on the way before I got my job. Right. But um, moving forward, we have more money to raise yeah. and the redevelopment is um, designed to reinforce the Theatre's position as being the heart of Perth, which has just become a city again. Yes, um, that's right. So we're going to develop a new space for new, for new work and touring. So we'll have a studio space alongside our main auditorium. Yeah. 
our main auditorium, which is beautiful, is listed. So that stays the same, that stays uh -huh. at the heart of the building. Yeah. We have studio space alongside that. It's also creates a learning space, more rehearsal space, a new bar, a new glass fronted entrance. Facing so there's stuff going on in the theatre all yeah, day. Yeah, absolutely. And space for people to come and make works, come and experiment, come, mm -hmm. come and play with us, mm -hmm. to come and see what we're doing and to share what they're doing with us as well. Yeah. So that, I, can't, I can't wait for that to happen. That's going to be a really exciting move, and I'm so excited to be in Scotland to be part of that so yeah. shift. You, 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 you've worked in Scotland before, I mean, you've yeah. directed plays here before. Yeah, yeah. Um, but tell me, how are you finding it now, uh, having moved your base from Belfast yeah. to Scotland? I love it. Mm -hmm. I, I can't speak highly enough about, about the Scottish theatre scene and the Scottish theatre sector. I think right down from the Prince of Scotland, right down to the tiny companies who are making work, everybody has a real ambitious desire for excellence. Mm -hmm. I'm really, really happy here. And I think the sector is friendly and open and collaborative. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite besotted with Scotland actually. Oh, I great. I love it. Great. Yeah. Well, I hope you will come and see this play by Ben Tago, directed by Rachel O'Riordan. I think it's a fine piece of work, and it's our first collaboration, our first co-production with Perth Theatre, and we intend that there will be many more. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you.